Brienne returns to Winterfell alongside Jon and Daenerys's forces and helps organize the defense of the castle. At Jaime's trial in the Great Hall, she speaks on his behalf, convincing Sansa, Daenerys, and Jon to spare him after telling them the story of how he saved her from Locke's men, along with assigning her mission to find and protect the Stark girls. Later, Brienne is overseeing Podrick's progress as he trains someone, when Jaime arrives to thank her for supporting him. Thinking he plans to insult her once again, she is surprised when he asks to serve under her command in the upcoming battle. Though hesitant at first, she accepts. Brienne is present when Jon and the others discuss their plan of defense, refusing another of Tormund's advances in the process. Later, she joins the Lannister brothers for wine, but orders a half cup for Podrick, since the battle could start at any moment, Tyrion serves Podrick a full cup anyway. After hearing Tormund's story of how he earned his nickname, Giant Spain, he questions her status among the nobility. Brienne confesses that she was never made a knight, due to tradition. Tormund scoffs at the idea and declares that he would knight Brienne ten times over if he was a king, presumably under the assumption that only a king has the standing to perform the knighting ceremony. Jamie notes that Tormund wouldn't need to be a king to knight Brienne, as knights are also permitted to perform the ceremony. He offers to knight her himself, and she accepts, becoming Sir Brienne. She celebrates with the others, but the festivities are cut short by three horn blasts, signaling the arrival of the White Walkers. Brienne, Jaime, Jorah Mormont and Grey Worm lead the Northern and Targaryen forces to fight the dead in the open during the Battle of Winterfell but are quickly overwhelmed, Brienne herself being saved by Jaime during the initial onslaught. As they are forced to retreat into Winterfell, they try to fend off the Whites trying to breach the walls of the castle. However, the undead army is obliterated with the death of the Night King at the hands of Arya. After the victory over the dead, the living celebrate, and she rejects the advances of Tormund. Brienne and Jaime exchange smiles and Tyrion, now very drunk, correctly guesses Brienne is a virgin. Her smile fades and says she must relieve herself. Jaime follows her into her quarters, and they end up having sex. Despite his love for Brienne, Jaime decides to head back after the Iron Fleet ambushed the Targaryen forces near Dragonstone, horrified about Cersei's fate if she loses. Brienne pleads with him not to leave, stating he is a good man, but he states he is as hateful as Cersei. Following the assassination of Daenerys Targaryen, Brienne attends the trial of Tyrion. After Tyrion suggests that the Lords of Seven Kingdoms choose their new king and suggests Bran's name, Brienne assents to the proposal. She is made Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, with the emblem of a raven now present on the armor of the Sworn Brotherhood, an ode to Bran's status as the Three-Eyed Raven. While reading the The Book of Brothers, she comes upon Jaime's entry and decides to complete it. She praises his actions and says he died defending his queen, welling up while writing it. Brienne later takes part in the first meeting of the Small Council, under the stewardship of Tyrion, the new Hand of the King. She tells Podrick to take Bran away from the meeting so he can focus on finding Drogon, who has been seen flying towards Volantis, using his abilities as a warg. When Bronn suggests rebuilding the city's brothels, since all of the well-known ones were destroyed following the Battle of King's Landing, she expresses disapproval at the thought of prioritizing it over rebuilding the royal fleet, which clearly takes precedence due to the lack of ships in the Six Kingdoms following the war for Westeros.